So now we are going to get the distance of your CPA. Okay. Three point five. So our CPA now is three point five. So we have now the CPA three point five nautical miles. And now we are going to get the TCPA. So we have to get now the TCPA. So in getting the TCPA, you have to use the formula of time, which is distance over speed. So in order to get the distance in the reference to the TCPA, you have to measure from the, the last bearing, which is the 0422 hotel to, to your CPA. Okay? Or let's say this will be your L. So you have to measure from L to CPA in order to get the distance over the speed of 21 knots. Uh, by the way, the 21 knots is coming from your relative speed. So, 21 knots. Okay? So, time is equals to from uh, L to CPA is 6.5 nautical miles. 6.5 divided by 21. So, you have 0 0.31. Then, you have to multiply it by 60. So, you have the time of 19 minutes. Then, you have to get the zero four two to hotel, which is uh, the time of your uh, third bearing plus the nineteen minutes so you have now a uh, TCPA of zero four four one hotel. So our TCPA is zero four four one. So now we are going to get the true course. So in order to get the true course, you have to bring your uh, original speed to R. Okay. You have to connect your uh, original speed to the R. Okay. Okay. So now you are going to get the distance in order to have a E. So, to get the distance, distance is equals to speed times time. So, our speed is, uh, on ship a speed is 12 knots times uh, 0 0.1. So we have distance is equals to 1.2. So now we're going we're going to measure 1.2 in order to connect the R and the 
E 1.2 so okay this is it 1.2 so this will be your E now in order to get the true course we have to connect the E to M okay we have to connect now the E to M okay so the line of uh, E to M we have to bring this to the center in order to get the true course okay so we have now the true course so e to m bring it to the center so we have now the true course true course is two seven zero degrees so we have now the true course two seven zero degrees true course two seven zero degrees so this time we are going to get the true course speed okay so in order to get the true course speed we're going to use the formula of the speed speed is equals to distance over the time so to get the distance for the true course speed you have to measure from E to M. So E to M. So we are going to measure now from E to M. Okay. E to M is okay about 1.7 nautical miles. So we have now the distance. A speed is equals to uh, e to m is 1.7 divided by our time is 6 the interval of time is 6 divided by 60 so 0 0.1 so speed is 1.7 divided by 0 0.1 is 17 so we have the true core speed of 17 knots so our uh, true core speed now is 17 knots okay so that's all about guys in uh, getting the the RML, the relative speed, and the CPA, TCPA, true course, and the true course speed in a radar manual plotting. Okay, guys, that's all, and uh, see you for the next topic.